Hello Python here. The new OpenAI models are out and currently only accessible through the API. And that's what we will explore together in this video, besides some small changes I noticed with this update. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Before we get into coding, here a brief overview of the current news from OpenAI. They dropped two new models, the O3 and the O4 Mini. While the O3 is the most intelligent and the O4 Mini a better and faster version of the O3 Mini. These models are currently only available through the API, which I show you in this video. Some additional information. This is the first time I see OpenAI promoting the response API over the chat completions from the SDK. We will see both in this video. In the response function we now get a new parameter called reasoning summaries. This is new and follows the critic to OpenAI that they hide the chain of thoughts in the response, while every other shows them. But don't be hyped yet, it is just a summary of the chain of thoughts and not the full thinking. I will dive deeper soon in the point of the code where we use it. You need to know as well that for O3 and the reasoning summaries, you have to verify your organization first or be a higher tier user under the purpose that OpenAI wants to protect the models. Worked well if you think about the deep seek accusations. Haha, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, let's start coding. As you may have seen in my previous videos, we start by importing the OpenAI class from the OpenAI library and installing it with pip install OpenAI. Then we use this class to initialize the client by passing our API key to it. I deleted mine before I uploaded this video, so not worth to try it. Next we create a prompt. I used a simple example here to show you mainly the speed of O4 Mini and won't go into detail of the results. That's up to you validating yourself if you like the result. On paper both should be amazing, while the context window of 200k still loses. But that's it for the core setup. Now let's create the request to the model. Therefore we create a stream variable and use the client response create function which is the promoted one I told you earlier. The output just differs to the chat completions function, which I show you soon. In here we first pass the model like O4 mini or O3 if you are verified. Next we define the input messages where we can pass the example in addition a system prompt with the role system to the model. And then the user prompt with the role user we just created above. There are even other possibilities you can find in the docs. I will link them in the pinned comment. Next we can get to the reasoning parameters. The first one, the effort, is to manage how hard the model should think. This leads to better results when higher but also takes more time and is more expensive because the model will use more reasoning tokens. And next is the summary which is set here to auto. But because of the fact I am not verified yet, I can show you how it works. But here is the information from the docs. I think we will get soon access even when we are not verified yet. As you can see here, different models support different versions of the summary, like the O4 Mini does detailed and other concise. But I think auto is the best fit as standard. So before we go on, I am a small channel and I really would love to get some feedback if this video helped you. If so, I would love to get a subscribe and like from you. Thank you. Okay, let's go on. Because I prefer to get the stream output over the response output, I set the stream parameter here to true and will read the chunks in the output to get instant feedback while the model is still generating it. We can access this by looping over the events in the stream output. In here we check if it contains the type response output text delta. If so, we pass the event delta to our content variable. We then check if the content variable has data to display which we now print to the console ongoing and instant using the end and flush parameter. While we run this and wait for the response, here the comparison of the code to the chat completions function from the OpenAI SDK. Here I wasn't able to set up the summary function. Let us know in the comments if you did. My exception would be that with the summary parameter we now get a summary of the reasoning shown here while the model generates the response. But as said, since it's not the original, I think it's mostly a small benefit. Ok, it's ready. As you can see here, the speed of the O4 mini model is amazing, therefore that it is a reasoning model. I didn't check the output here, because I just wanted to show you how to use it. And that's it, this is all I wanted to show you on this video. I hope this video helps you. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. On the left is first a video YouTube thinks you should watch and then my latest one I suggest to you. Happy coding and I see you in the next one.